we live in is often referred to as the blue planet, as more than 70% of it is covered by water. It is believed that the water makes it possible for Earth to harbor life. On the other hand, some unusual things about the oceans and lakes confirm that they still have secrets waiting to be explored. The idea of the area as uniquely prone to disappearances arose in the mid-20th century, but most reputable sources dismiss the idea that there is any mystery. Location the mysterious Michigan Triangle is part of the Great Lakes in North America, and the area resembles an acute angle triangle. To be precise, it covers Lake Michigan, which is the largest freshwater lake in the United States. Along the left side of Michigan's mitten, the first side of the triangle is formed by connecting Ludington to Benton Harbor, Michigan. The second side spans from Benton Harbor to Mantiwalk, Wisconsin. The triangle is completed by its third side that links Mantiwalk back to Ludington. The bizarre occurrences in the area of the Magnificent Lake have been the cause of curiosity among researchers for centuries. The first abnormal incident, 1679. The history of abnormal incidents in Michigan Triangle can be traced to the late 17th century. It was a time when the world was exploring new ways and routes for expanding trade. Lee Griffon, one of the largest sailing vessels of its time, set out on its maiden voyage in 1679 to find a northwest passage to China and Japan. All went well until the ship reached the Michigan Triangle, never to come back. Although it is not the only ship that might have been submerged, the horror of the fury of a cloudless sky. Who could have thought a clear and cloudless sky would cause harm to a ship? But that's what has to be expected while in the Michigan Triangle. In 1883, the crew of a wooden tugboat named Mary McLean that worked out of Chicago Harbor had a strange story to tell. They claimed to have witnessed mighty blocks of ice falling from the sky while on the lake. For a whole 30 minutes, it did not stop and was so powerful that it caused dents in the tug's wooden surface. The crew managed to save a large chunk of ice in its galley icebox and recounted the horrific ordeal at the harbor. Mm -hmm.